Well, it now has been one year since this woman, a gas station clerk, was shot and killed during a robbery that went down on the west side. All of this happening as Susan Seal worked the overnight shift at the McClure's at Lyndhurst and Rockville Road. Her killer hasn't been found, but friends and family aren't giving up. Tonight, our Mary Mills found that they're helping police and they continue to honor Susan. Residents of the Shelton Heights neighborhood are trying to put this unsolved murder back in the spotlight while also helping the community. These are the supplies. Debbie Parrish and her son Jason are getting ready for the neighborhood's national night out block party. I've been um, help mom making signs and I, um, we went and bought a school supplies. Parrish, head of the neighborhood's crime watch, says it won't be a huge party. But we've got enough pencils and crayons and stuff to put a meaning to it. I mean, Susan died a horrible way. And let's bring attention to the violence. Let's bring attention that Wayne Township is not a rich township. So they'll be handing out school supplies and holding a food drive on behalf of this church in honor of Susan Seal. Susan just took on to the food pantry and and just got involved. Pastor Don Thomas says Susan not only worked to fill the shelves, but did special things like decorating each box. It's a way for our food pantry to say, we care about you, we're glad you're here, uh, we, we want to help you. After Susan was killed, her mother Karen took over here. I think this is, is a way in which she can honor Susan, get energy out, find some, just do something that makes you feel good in, in, in the middle of what has to be a very tragic situation. This is my Boy, you've really been working hard on this. You don't see every night. Good job. Paula Barnes and Officer David Spurgeon with IMPD Southwest District say events like this matter. It's important that uh, the community comes together uh, on times like this um, to show that people care. Everybody has to keep her memory in mind and try to stop this senseless violence. Well, Parrish is spearheading the block party here Monday night. She says she's getting a lot of help and donations from neighbors. What they really want to see, though, is Susan Seal's killer caught. And Yes, Mary, thank you tonight. Well, police shared surveillance video from the gas station that the morning Seal was killed. Here you can see a young man. He's wearing a hoodie. He's grabbing the cash register there. If you have any information that can help officers solve the case, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at number 317-262-TIPS.